Hello everyone, this is Loa Song. In order to help you better understand our programming robotic arm, in this episode, I will introduce all parts of the robotic arm to you. So you can see this is the box, which is a special design for the robotic arm. So let us have a look in it. Here is the robotic arm. It's great cool. Do you think so? And this is the logo, Low One Soul, the logo of our company. And this box has very good quality. So you can so it can protect the robotic arm very well. I know you're really eager to open it and want to know what is it inside. So I will open it now to show you. First of all, you can see there is a button plate because it is metal plate, so it's very solid and very stable. So let us put it aside. And this is a sponge. It can protect the every part of the robotic arm. So let us move it to a side. Okay. And you can see all of these are the gadgets of the robotic arm. They have been put in order. So I will introduce all of them to you one by one. The first one, there are some brood brackets because they are mental bracket. So they can save your time when you are assembled. And they also can make the robotic arm more beautiful and more fantastic. How about this? There are five digital servers. Number one, two, three, four, five. I want to tell you that the digital servers are very powerful and very precise. They have a long service time. Uh, let us move to here. This is the power supply. And under it has different kinds of screws. Okay, let us move to the left side. Here is the winding tube. And this is the mental claw. You can open it like this. You also can close it. And in order to save your time, we have assembled the servo in this to help you better experience the robotic arm. So let, it, let us put it aside. Let us move to this part. You can see there is a wireless handle. You can use the wireless handle to get anything in any direction very easily and very conveniently. And under it is a wireless handle receiver. Okay, let us move to the last part. This is the controller. And this one is the USB cable. You can use the USB cable to connect the computer with your robotic arm very quickly. Okay, under them is the, the bearing. It is also made of metal, so it's very solid. Okay, all of this is my introduction of the every part of the robotic arm. I know you must want to know how to assemble it. So please follow our next episode. I will tell you how to make your own style robotic arm. See you.